Hi everyone, this is Jan from Right Side Cinema again. I am at the Cine Gears workshop testing a few new products. One of them is this new rocker switch version of the Espresso. So the first thing you'll notice when you look at the new rocker version is the design. It's got a rocker switch compared to the Espresso that had a dial. Um, the build quality is really good. Um, this little rocker switch is made out of metal. Um, it's all CNC milled, so it's really strong. And I think even if you drop it, it's, uh, it's a pretty strong uh, build. The antenna is nice solid rubber, so it's not going to break. Um, some people, like myself, I got pretty close to mounting it to this um, top rod here on my Ronin. If, uh, if you, for some reason you need to mount it in a better position it needs to sit skew, I think this thing will hold up really well. The, the rocker version has quite a lot of mounting options. Um, at the bottom, this bracket has been designed to either mount horizontally or at an angle. So certain people might like it at you know, uh, various angles. You'll have to find out for yourself once you get it and get comfortable with where you want to mount it. So while I'm looking at the bottom here, you can see there's some uh, indicator marks. Um, when there's a spring built inside, it'll flick back to the center every time. and. Uh, the indicators show you where exactly your focus is going as far as the speed goes because it's got a built-in accelerator um, so if you start slow and you want to go faster 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 that's what this one is, has been designed for in comparison to the rock uh, excuse me the the dial version in the espresso where you're manually in control of the speed by the speed that your finger or your hand can move I, I think I'll probably use my ring finger with this one you get a really nice feel for it, for those push-ins, but I think for those shots, that's where I'll probably find more benefit in, in the rocker switch. My thumb's much stronger than my ring finger, and I think I can get more used to it, just pushing in and pulling out. So, so I'm going to just switch off this one and show you how to pair the other version. So hold it for three seconds, and that one's off. I'm just going to switch over to the hand unit here and show you how to pair the motors and uh, and some basic settings on the new rocker version. So to power it up, you push the record button for three seconds. It's got three buttons, the record, the A, and the B marker, and then you've obviously got your rocker. So hold the button on the motor for three seconds to get it ready to pair. And you hold these three buttons all at the same time for three seconds, and that means they're paired. So if I move it now, it'll move my lens. So to set up an, uh, an A point for a, a marker, you just hold down the A button for three seconds. You'll remember 191. And I'm going to set a new mark. Let's go to 358. And you hold down the B marker for three seconds. You can see that it's registered. So you hit A, you go to B. A and B. And if you want to get out of that, because right now obviously your rocker switch can't work, just hit B again and you can go manually to any position you like. So I've mounted it with a Noga arm to, uh, to just get it in a more specific positioning for myself. I like to use my thumb, others might want to use their uh, ring finger or their middle finger here. Um, for me, because I can pull it back with my thumb, I've got quite a strong movement here on my thumb. Um, I've mounted it here with the Noga arm. It's got a Velcro strap on the back, so you can mount it pretty much anywhere. You can mount it on this top bar or on the side. It's very, for the slow movements, that's the really nice one, because you the pressure I'm using is very slight, and it's very sensitive, but also, you know, for those small increments that you're trying to get, it's really good. Yeah, I, I find slowing it down is an awesome feature. You know, I can go really fast, back and forth, back and forth, really fast. Or just a slow, let's say I'm pushing in on someone's face. Very subtle. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. That's a good feature. I just quickly want to touch on one other, uh, one new product here that I, I was shown this morning at the Cine Gears workshop. It's the, the lens ring, the Cine Gears rubber lens ring. 
Um, it's pretty easy to mount on your lens and it's fairly customizable. You can have one for each lens because they're very affordable. Um, so basically what you do is you put this rubber ring around your lens, you see where, um, you measure the size, you cut it, and then it has these steel pins that you put in and you mount. So here's one that's been pre-made. They have holes all around, so it doesn't matter how small your lens is, you can, you can still fit it on there. The nice thing about these, uh, these gears is they go 360, so on a, on a DSLR lens, uh, or any other stills lens for that matter, uh, it doesn't have any hard stops. So you won't damage your lens, you can go all the way 360. And um, on your Cine Gears uh, remote focus system, you can set the hard stops there without damaging your lens. The other awesome thing is it's, it's made with the, the same quality rubber that they use on these Canon lenses um, on the actual barrels. So it looks fairly similar and it feels exactly the same. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a perfect solution because another thing is you don't want to damage your lenses and the nice thing is the smoothness inside. It'll protect your lens instead of damaging it. So no scrapes, no scratches.